Oh my lord, this is going to be a waste of my time. I'm giving you a cash offer. Oh, cash, huh? What are you going to do, bring the cash in the duffel bag? I really can't believe you just said that. You know, I think we're done here. I think it's time for you to leave. I don't want to do business with you. Oh my lord, this is going to be a waste of my time. Hello, are you, are you Kevin, Kevin Miller? Yes, uh, I'm assuming you're James? Yes, James Washington, it's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, what can I do for you today? Well, I'm here to look at the property you have for sale, remember? You know, I wish I could do that, but that property, I'm pretty sure it's under contract already. Wait, what? I, I just got off the phone with you five minutes ago to reassure that I would be here to look at the place. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I got it confused with a piece of property I'm selling on the other side of town. My bad. Look, well, can I at least look at it? I mean, I can make a backup offer in, in case I'm interested. No. I'm very sure that that contract's going to go through. I won't be needing a backup offer. Sir, please. I, I insist. I mean, I really like the area. What, what are you selling it for, huh? 600000 That's right. I'll give you 700000 What? That's 100000 more than I asked, and you haven't even seen the place. I don't have to. I've seen pictures, and I really like it, plus I know it's worth. And... I'm giving you a cash offer. Oh, cash, huh? What are you gonna do, bring the cash in the duffel bag? I really can't believe you just said that. You know, I think we're done here. I think it's time for you to leave. I don't wanna do business with you. You really don't have a contract, do you? What's the real reason, huh? You just don't wanna do business with a black man, is that it? Yeah, that's right, genius. I'm not interested in dealing with you people. Now, please leave my property. You're gonna regret this. I gave you a good offer. You're nothing but a damn fool. Just leave now. George Thompson? Yeah. Kevin Millis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Sorry I'm late. I just got stuck in some rush hour traffic. Ah, nah, no worries. The important thing is you're here. That's what matters. Yeah, great. All right, let me tell you a little bit about the property. It's a duplex, as you know, built in 62. The interior is a little dated, but it's nothing that a fresh coat of paint or new carpeting can't fix. Let me show you. All right. Thank you. So, what do you think? I think it's got a lot of possibilities. I might be interested. That's what I like to hear. Well, you know, initially you said that it might need just a little painting and carpet. Unfortunately, I think it's probably gonna need a lot more than that. I mean, I need to refinish the bathroom and the kitchen totally. Okay. I guess you're right. It probably does need more than a little carpet and a coat of paint. How high are you willing to go? Well, you came in at six. Bathrooms for kitchen 500, 510. George, that's a little low. I've been offered quite a bit more than that. Well, if you don't mind me asking, why didn't you take those offers? Well, they fell through. I mean, in this business, it's always something. Either the buyer can't get financing or they don't pay us home inspection. I had a guy offer me 700. He didn't even see the place. 700 for this place? You should have taken that immediately. Nah, the guy was some thug off the street. 
He wasn't serious. He was just wasting my time. That's a shame. I'll tell you, if, if this works out, you won't have to worry about financing. It's a cash offer. But what about home inspection or other contingencies? None of that. If we can come up with a price that we agree on, mm -hmm. I think by the end of the week, we should be able to close. Okay, great. Send me all your information and I'll draw up a sales contract. All right, great. Thank you. Bye. Hey. Hi, it's Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Listen, uh, good news. I just got confirmation that your funds are in my account. Yeah. When's a good time for me to drop off your key? No, actually, I'm pretty close. Um, Want to give me about 15 minutes and meet me at the property? OK, I'll see you in 15. All right, I'll see you there. Hey, Kevin. George, congratulations on your new place. Thank you so much. Here's your new key. Awesome. Any problems, feel free to call me. Thank you, I will. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just here to congratulate this gentleman on his fine purchase of this property. You know what? It's time for you to leave. Now get off my property. Okay, okay, I'll leave. Oh, but first, let me ask you, um, what did you sell it for? It's none of your business. Now look, get off my property or I'm going to call the cops. Hey, George, what was the, uh, the final number on here, this place? 520, sir. Wait, wait, you two know each other's names? Oh. I didn't tell you? I'm sorry. You see, George here is the second in command of my company. So you guys work together? Yeah, he works for me, but you know, technically, he owns part of the company, so I guess that, what, makes us partners? So you tricked me? No, no, no I did not. Yes, you did. You offered me 700, and then you sent your partner over and he bought it for 520. You tricked me. Again. No, I did not. I offered you 700000 and I was ready to buy that day. But remember, you wanted nothing to do with me because of your racist, ignorant opinion of me. So what did I do? I sent my white partner over here to get the job done. And guess what? He did. So, come on, please. Please what? Give you the $180,000 that you saved us? Well, come on, you can pay me a little extra, please. Mm. You know what I'll do for you? I'll give you 30 seconds to get off my property before I call the police and have you arrested for trespassing. James, please. Get off my property. Good job, George. Here's the key. <laughs> <laughs>